Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. If you guys are new, welcome. I am a senior at Penn State. Before we get into it, I did create a kind of like checklist that you guys can print out, bring with you when you're doing your dorm shopping. I put on pretty much everything that you would need, so check it out. It'll be linked in the description. First thing that I could not live without in my dorm, my apartment, everything, a rolling cart. You guys have seen it in all of my move-in vlogs, dorm tours. I have this three-tier rolling cart from Target that I got when I first moved to college in 2018. By far one of the best things that I've ever purchased for college. Okay, this next item is actually a question that I get a lot, the showering part of a dorm. Everyone always wonders, what do you do when you're going to the shower? 10 out of 10 suggest a robe or a shower wrap. Target has really cute pattern shower wraps that like Velcro and it's pretty long. It looks like a little dress. My younger friends come to me and they are like, what do I do about like walking in the hallway, going to the shower or walking back from the showers? I highly, highly suggest a robe or the shower wrap. This is something else that I guess goes along with the robe, slippers. I wore my L.L. Bean slippers, like the moccasins every single day in the dorm. Great when you're walking around to different floors to visit friends, going to the bathroom if you don't want to throw on like shower flip-flop. This next thing I have to give total 100% credit to my mom for giving me this idea and making me create this when I moved into the dorm, a medicine box. My medicine box became a staple for my floor and for my roommates in my apartment because I have everything in that medicine box. Tylenol, Pepto-Bismol, Tums, emergency, like literally everything. Your medicine box is like your little pharmacy. I used it many, many times because in the dorms, you get sick like crazy. There's usually like this freshman plague that goes around in the beginning of the year when everyone is adjusting to living in the dorms and you are around so many germs. All right, next thing, earplugs and an eye mask. There will be nights when you're like, what the hell is happening? Like you hear people screaming, you hear music blasting, instruments play, they're just, I don't miss that about the dorms. I just remember so many times in like the group me for my dorm of everyone being like, everyone shut up like I'm trying to sleep. Okay, this next thing I actually didn't learn until I transferred to Penn State. At Quinnipiac, our dorms were locked with our student ID, so we would literally unlock it with a key card slot, like a hotel, but Penn State, even though I lived in a brand new dorm, still, we had, we had keys still. So what I suggest is getting a key bracelet. They sell them on Amazon. I got them at the bookstore when I got there. I know it's a joke of like, oh, how do you tell who the freshman is? They have a lanyard around their neck with their key. I would suggest the key bracelet because you always will have it on. I have a few things that I'm gonna group together. Fans, not just because of like how hot it gets, but also to drown out noise. Also recommend a humidifier because the dorms get so, dry. Also recommend some sort of air freshener or diffuser. I would get the plug-in air fresheners that you would just put into a plug, um, but I also know people that had oil diffusers, you know, things that would just make the air smell better because when it gets super hot and dry and just the dorms just could smell disgusting. I also need to share my cleaning supply tips now. <laughs> I was that person in the dorm that was always cleaning, like vacuum, Lysol, whatever. Did people make fun of me for it? Yeah, you know what? But I was ahead of the times by having Lysol in my dorms. For cleaning, I recommend a Lysol spray and also Lysol wipes. People get sick in the dorms so much. Also with cleaning, get a little tiny like stick vacuum. Target sells them for like 30 bucks. A little tiny vacuum will go such a long way. Okay, so this one is kind of like oddly specific. Dorm beds are so tall. It is a universal experience if you're short, you have to get a running start to your bed to get onto it because it is so high up. Like I know they're adjustable, but even at the lowest, I felt like they were still so high up. So I recommend some sort of like ottoman that can also serve as a storage thing, but also like a step stool to get onto your bed. Ottomans also can serve as extra seating when you have people in your room. I don't know if this is like decor related, but get a cheap rug. It will help to absorb the noise of other rooms, your room, so that it's like not loud. It also just makes it more homey feeling, more comfortable. Okay, next thing is kind of like a desk essential. Um, make sure you have tape, scissors, and a stapler. There were times when professors would be like, you need to have like your essay printed out and stapled. You will need it at the most random times and then you're hunting down 
who has a stapler in the dorm. This is also another very small, tiny thing that is often forgotten, but a door stopper. Most of the doors that I've had in dorms are so incredibly heavy and would not stay open. So a door stopper was great because, you know, especially those first few weeks in the dorm, it's really nice to keep it open so that you could like meet people and just walk by and, you know, see what everyone's room looks like. Next thing may seem obvious, but mattress pad, mattress topper. I also had a mattress protector that I would zip my mattress up in and that protected it from bed bugs, other spills and whatnot. I also had the protectors on my pillows as well because you never know what is living in that mattress. Oh, something else to go with like cleaning. I had like a little cleaning bin, whatever. Tide sticks. You never know when you will have a spill. Tide sticks are amazing. Honestly, like keep putting in your backpack. Okay, we're getting down to the end here. If your dorm does not come with a fridge, microwave, whatever, highly suggest. I also recommend having a Keurig. I spent a disturbing amount of money on coffee in the dorms. It will save you so much money if you have coffee a lot to have the Keurig. I barely made coffee in the dorm. I would always go out and get it throughout the day because I have coffee every single day. Just get the Keurig, you won't regret it. Also for like hot cocoa, tea, I would use my Keurig to put hot water and ramen packets, things like that. You should also have batteries for, you know, anything. Also recommend having a speaker, just a tiny speaker of some sort. You will always like be invited to other people's dorms if you have the speaker just for the music. <laughs> and last but not least, command strips galore. I know my dorm would say like, don't put up command strips, they'll damage the wall. Everyone puts up command strips, like literally everyone does. I would also command strip my extension cords and surge protectors to the side of my bed, to my desk, things like that. Okay, so that wraps up my dorm essentials for 2021. Also, side note, keep in mind when you're packing, doing dorm shopping. Remember, sometimes in the dorm, less is more. I fell victim to this my first year of college. I brought everything that I owned, but definitely do kind of like an evaluation of what you're packing. If you guys are moving into the dorm, honestly, dorm life is just so much fun. Soak it all in. There'll be times when you're like, I cannot wait to move out of the dorm. I was not a big dorm fan at all, but looking back, I mean, just the memories are priceless. Also, let me know in the comments if there's any other dorm essentials you recommend to people to know, things like that. All right, I guess that's it. So see you guys next time.